In a little more than a week, candidates from several political parties will nominate themselves, will be nominated rather, to run in the upcoming May 10th general elections. LaDon Davis spoke with the Parliamentary Commissioner, Sherlyn Hall, to get a refresher on the nomination process. April 20th, candidates from the various political parties will be nominated in hopes of securing one of the 39 seats in the upcoming general election. Nomination day is the kickoff to the May 10th general election and is a much anticipated day for the nearly 170,000 registered voters eager to exercise their democratic right. Parliamentary Commissioner Sherlyn Hall on the nomination process. Number one, you must be nominated by five persons who are registered in your constituency. They must present their voter card number to confirm that they are indeed registered in a constituency. Um, secondly, there must be a form, nomination form completed by the candidate to say that I, John Doe, I'm qualified, Bahamian citizen, qualified to uh, run in the, for the House of Assembly. And then thirdly, you must provide a document on your assets and liabilities all of your bank account, your real property, buildings, whatever assets you have, you must state that in the nomination papers. On your present to us four hundred dollars. And once nomination ends, Hall says the candidates will have the daunting task of selecting a political symbol to be easily recognized by eligible voters on election day. You must apply to the parliamentary commission for a symbol. And the symbol must be selected from a list that looks like that. Okay, so um, from, from number symbols, number 1 to 15 for independent candidates and from 16 to 40 for political parties. Once that's done, your name is on the, on the ballot paper, then you're good to go. All of the candidates' assets and liabilities will be published for the public on April 22nd in the local dailies. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.